What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out Brock Lesnar breaks the table within two minutes of being on the Pat McAfee show. Brock Lesnar did an interview with Pat McAfee, and a lot of you guys were telling me to check it out. I'm going to just check out this clip portion of it. I know they have a 40-minute interview, so I may check that out off camera, but a lot of you guys were reaching out to me on Twitter like, yo, you definitely want to check this out. It definitely shows a different side to Brock. I will say this about Brock character. His his run this time, he does seem like he's actually having fun out there. You can just tell just by him delivering the promos himself. He just seems like he's having a good time. So I can say that's the one positive thing about him being back. The only thing I'm just not really big of big fan of is how Pretty much WrestleMania season is about Brock and Ronda at this point. They've built it around them two. And I just feel like he's only going to be here for WrestleMania season. And then after that, he's kind of going to be floating around. And it just it puts us back in the same situation. Like, what about the talent that you have there? I get it. You want to make money. You want to draw as many people to WrestleMania as possible. But you got to start booking the talent that you have there week in, week out, all year round to be big to be you know be superstars that's the only way things will get better for the overall product i get brock being there helps the product i just think the the way they push him so much it kind of it messes up everyone else's potential of really you know gaining gaining that much needed momentum much me to stop spotlight but i will say i do like just the fact that i can tell he's having fun and i don't have a problem with that it's good to always enjoy what you love so this should be a good one uh, appreciate all love and support, man. Let's get right into this one. Joining us is a one of one, the alpha male of our species, former UFC heavyweight champion, current WWE icon and legend, college national champion wrestler, ladies and gentlemen, one time NFL player, Brock fucking Lesnar. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh my God. Tip of the cap. How you doing? Hail Mary, full of grace. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Be with you. And also, bro, he seems so lively. I, I can't, I, I'm not, once again, I don't want people to think I hate Brock. Dub does not like Brock. I don't think he hates him. He just doesn't like how WWE is really pushing him as much. But I will say, it just looks, you can tell he's just having a good time. And Pat McAfee is always great. He's fantastic on commentary. So I may actually just watch this whole interview off camera it's 40 minutes long i don't want to make a reaction to it on youtube or anything like that i want to kind of just sit back and relax and enjoy it for myself personally uh but definitely i like i like his vibe man i i can't say that dub's gonna hate me for this but he, it does seem like he's he's enjoying himself with you bro <laughs> That's a great start. That's a great start. So we're talking about uh, the rocks. And by the way, thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you, Brock. Thank you so much Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Appreciate no, we, we appreciate it. I, I got to meet you, obviously, at a WWE event backstage. And you had, the, obviously, this aura around you backstage because you've been around for so long. You're OG over there. And everybody has the utmost respect. And I remember just going like, holy fuck, Brock Lesnar's here. And I remember walking over and introducing myself because I felt like it was the right thing to do. And you were fucking awesome. You have been so nice to me through this entire thing. Thing, and I appreciate you stopping by before Raw tonight, boss. I appreciate it, man. And I, it was just the, uh, I was a big fan of yours. And it was an honor to meet you. And I just got a good vibe. You know how you get a good vibe when you get good handshakes? I'm just not used to Brock just being so friendly. I've always said this. Anytime Brock smiles or puppy dies. Well, puppies have been dying for months now. And I just... <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Like, Jesus... Brock smiling and being in a good mood, it just, it scares me. Because I'm just so used to him being stoic and ready to put somebody through a table, F5 them into another dimension, whatever. But this, him smiling, having fun, it's scary. Does that, does that not scare y'all? This dude can literally snap you in half. He's just, hey man, nice to meet you. I'm a big fan. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, you know, good people. And so it, I'm, I, I have to tell you though, like, you make the show oh. Friday nights like your mm. your color commentary is is bar none like the best. Hey, so I, I ain't gonna lie to you, Pat McAfee on commentary is one of the best moves they made. 
They needed someone. Michael Cole is fine. Calling is straight. He's he's gotten much better over the years. I can tolerate Michael Cole. He's not that bad. I know he still they still feed him cringe lines. Well, Michael Cole is cool. Pat McAfee has been a gym. The last person, in my opinion, that was a gym on commentary outside of Jim Ross was um Mauro Ronaldo. He was fantastic on commentary. His color commentary was great. So when they got Pat McAfee, I, I enjoy it. I, I truly enjoy it. He's f actually quite funny, bro. I'm breaking the table, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I just break shit. Oh, he actually broke it. Oh, Sorry, wow. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he just broke it. <laughs> what do you make? You make like fifty million dollars. You got a little jerk ass table. Uh, <laughs> what? 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 Could you face the microphone back? <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, it's gonna fall. Again. That was amazing. Uh, one man. Well, that's good. It would be great. Did you hurt your hands? They're obviously not. Nothing can no, hurt your hands. I'm just like, just making sure it ain't gonna... <laughs> hey, hey, great job putting it back together, guys. Yeah, wow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> My man just... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Brock, bro. Uh, I was once told <laughs> to think about you as Bam Bam. Right, to think about you as an adult version of Bam Bam. I literally just got to witness <laughs> both hands up and both hands down. Happy we're able to figure that out. Everybody go to beardedbutchers.com. Use promo code Brock to get 10% off your entire order. The seasoning oh, wow. is delightful. Yeah. Wow, Brock has his own fucking seasoning? What is this? Let me find out, man. Use JR's barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then you season the meat with... Brox, see, you know what would be funny? You know what would be so fucking funny? If I bought this and gifted it to Doug. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know. Y'all can't show him this, obviously, because it's not going to work. Comment down below. Let me know. If y'all want me to go to beardedbutchers.com and buy some, buy some Brock Lesnar seasoning. To give the dub. I'll actually do that. Comment down below. Let me know. I'll do that. Just don't tell them. <laughs> you yeah, can put it so on. Good. You can put it on everything. We're putting it on meat, obviously, because steaks are very prevalent here. But you can literally put it on everything. It makes everything good. And tune in to me kicking ass in the elimination chamber yeah. on Peacock. Goddamn yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. What? 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 Ass kicking. What? what? Saudi Arabia. What? 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 Taking a jet plane. What? All the way there. What? what? All the way back. What? what? All the way back. What? what? WWE champion. Yeah. Oh, what? He, he impersonated Stone Cold. What? Oh my oh, God. Hey, what champion. the? Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! My man just said, fuck it. That was his mic drop. He launched. Bro, where's the mic? Where's the. The mics is not cheap. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed our shit. We're never gonna get that down. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the rafters Foxy, forever. can you please <laughs> it's a, hang uh, those headphones in the rafters? <laughs> yeah. Brock wow. Lesnar tossed. I mean, I don't is, know if you're gonna be able to see this. Unbelievable. Asbestos falling on my head. <laughs> can you see it? I don't even know if you can see wow. it. Yeah, down, the camera down, started down. shaking when he slammed the door too. Right, right there. there. Is that them? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hey, thanks, bro. Thank you, bro. Oh, my Jeez, God. Jeez, Wee Man got... Jeez. Wee Man got better than our studio, dude. Yeah. How about, how, about, how about him walking out and Wee Man peacocking on him and him just going and picking him up and going, well, yeah, I'm going to put you right here, yeah. bro. And then how just you throwing the money down afterwards. Yeah. Uh, that's the show, wow. man. Overreaction Monday. Two hours of Super Bowl talk. One hour of getting to know one of the greatest athletes ever exists, Brock mm -hmm. Lesnar. He never does that, so I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you Brock is Brock is not the type to open up like that. So the fact they was able to actually get that interview was crazy. I probably will check it out off. Butchers.com, get yourself a bucket of the seasoning. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna need it. We powered through a couple bottles in the office. Dude, it does awesome. taste delicious. Especially if you're trying to get a little healthy on the keto diet. This helps out with everything. They got a five-gallon option, like the you know, the dull sunflower seeds. Yeah, that was cool, man.
that that holy that was that was actually pretty cool just that little segment definitely gonna check out the full uh interview off camera but comment down below let me know if y'all want me to go ahead and buy dub some of this brock seasoning for his meat man Hold on, pause comment down below let me know i definitely would go ahead and buy that for dub but just don't tell nobody just don't tell him so I actually do it. I may want to record that and make a video. So, but I appreciate all love and support, man. World 270K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.